Hey y'all, it's Treasure Rita and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today's video is gonna be a quick life update and I'm gonna answer some of y'all questions that I've been getting under my YouTube videos and also in my Instagram DMs. I have answered these questions to the people that have already asked them, but I think it'd be cool to share the knowledge and um, answer them here on this video. So if you are interested, please stay tuned because I have a lot to catch y'all up on. Let's get into the video. All right, so I was gonna do talking points, but I just thought that'd be pointless because it's, I just feel like I wanna talk. Like I just wanna like, just let it out, you know? Um, so the last video I have posted um, was my leaving Japan video. I forgot what it's titled, but I left Japan and that was December 15th. It is currently February 8th, I think, February 8th or 9th. Um, and I'm at my next duty station, so I have safely made it here to where I'm at. So that is amazing. Um, and in the in the process of all that, I have traveled so much. I had so much luggage. Oh my gosh. So let's start from December 15th. So December 15th, I left Japan. That was a long flight. I had so much luggage. Luggage. I literally had one, two, three, four, five, six seven bags i had my sea bag i had like four suitcases my backpack my laptop it was just i had so much and i was traveling all by myself all alone and i went from japan to where did i go japan to chicago i believe yeah japan to chicago because we were spending my boyfriend's birthday in chicago so from Japan to Chicago, I had all that luggage. And when I got to Chicago, I was able to drop some stuff off. So I didn't have so much. And I celebrated my boyfriend's birthday. And then after Chicago, we went to Atlanta for my birthday and for Christmas. And then after that, I had to come back to Chicago to grab some stuff. And I planned to drive from Chicago to, um, to my next duty station. But that didn't quite work out. So I had to buy a brand new car. I had to come back to my boyfriend's house and I had to drive from his house all the way to my duty station so it's been so hectic um when I got to my duty station y'all they put me in the barracks they put me in the barracks and the barracks were just atrocious like I don't even have a word for it see I'm about to freaking cry I'm not about to cry. I am really sick. Um, not really sick, but my nose is stuffed up and my eyes are watery and stuff. So, excuse that. <clears throat> but, like I was saying, the barracks were atrocious, y'all. Like, I, I can't share where the barracks are exactly. But, just know, when I walked in, there were mice traps on the counter. Mice traps on the counter and on the floor. So, <sighs> It was horrible, and I'm not super bougie or nothing. I know how to make you do what it do, but these barracks were just gross. So, from the time I got to the barracks up until, when did I move in here? Up until, let's say like the end of January, I was living in no bar I was living in those barracks. So I did not unpack anything, literally, because I was scared some bugs were gonna crawl in my luggage. I was scared some mice were gonna get up in there. I didn't buy any food or nothing, like anything. I didn't put anything in the cabinets. I basically I didn't get comfortable at all. I did end up eventually buying like a bed sheet and like a pillow, and I eventually set my stuff out, but I never unpacked my bags or anything like that. So just imagine me living out of a freaking suitcase, basically freaking suitcases for um like a month pretty much a month and a half almost so anyways that is over now i'm in my brand new apartment i'm so blessed to have found something um that i like because it was a it was a struggle like living in the area is pretty expensive but i end up finding something that i like that's affordable and um and yeah but the thing about that is I don't have any furniture yet I'm still like getting settled in and living on my blow-up mattress right now um, I'm still waiting for like my couch and my TV stand and all that big stuff still gotta buy a bed so <clears throat> it's just so much I gotta do but yeah I really struggled 
um, living in those barracks. It was just so uncomfortable. It was so stressful. But on a more positive note, um, I absolutely love my job. What I'm doing now is I work in an ENT clinic and ENT just stands for ear, neck and throat. Um, and I absolutely love it. The hours are amazing. It's from Monday to Friday, <clears throat> 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, I love the people I work with. They're super cool. Um, I work directly with a doctor, so that's a change. Um, before I was working um, directly with nurses. So I work with the doctor. Um, he's amazing, and I'm just learning so much, and I'm still getting settled into my new command. Um, yeah, like... My life is literally just morphing right now. Ever since I left Japan, up until now, still, I'm still, like, getting it settled in. I'm still trying to figure things out. I'm still trying to do this and do that. Like, I got to get back into school. I got to um, get more furniture. I got to freaking um, study. I got to, it's just so much I got to do, y'all. Like, it's just so much. Okay, so that is it for the life update. I told you it's going to be really quick. Now we are going to move on to me answering some of y'all questions. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so I have a question here. Um, I guess I left a comment or I replied to her comment on YouTube and now she's messaging me on Instagram. Okay, so it reads, how are you today, ma'am? I saw your comments on YouTube and I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to respond. Is there any more info you can give me about the nurse corps? <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I was talking. I was talking to a recruiter, nothing serious, though, and he was being a little too pushy. So I figured when I saw your awesome channel, I'd ask thank you in advance for responding again. And this was in October and I responded to the person, like I said, but um, basically they're asking about the nurse corps. Um, and what I said is that one, I'm not a nurse. Um, if y'all didn't know, I'm a corpsman, um, but I do know a little bit about it. Um, the nurse corps is just a commissioning program. So if you have your nursing degree, you can come in to the Navy and um, be a Navy nurse. Or if you have, um, I believe, like your associates and you want to be a nurse, you can go to the Navy and they'll pay for your nursing school. But you have to commit time. I mean, with any program, you have to commit time. And also, if you're already enlisted and you want to become an officer, they have a nursing. <clears throat> I cannot talk. They have a nursing program that you can do where you can go from, like I said, being enlisted to commissioning as an officer and being a nurse. Um, so, yeah, that answered that question. Um, and I always ask people, like, what is your plan? Like, do you have a plan? Because a, a lot of my subscribers are, um, are, like, still in high school. They're in their senior year, and they... Just want to, like, know what to do. Like, what should I do? A lot of people ask me, should I go to college first, then go to the Navy, or should I go straight to the Navy? And my answer is always, always, always. And I don't sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm being honest. You need to take time to yourself. Like, do not join the military right out of high school because you just setting yourself up for failure. I'm Not in all cases, but I just believe being so young and coming straight out of high school – you know, you're already under stress of being in high school. You're young. You want to live your life. So when it's that time to go to college, you won't be going to college. You'll be going to the military. The military is not the same as college at all. There are rules. There are restrictions. There are regulations that you have to follow every day. No dr no smoking, zero, zero tolerance for drugs. Um, yeah, it's just... I'm not telling... I'm not telling people to go act a fool when they graduate uh, high school. I'm just saying, you wanna take time to um, to grow. You wanna take time to yourself, to get to know yourself, uh, mature a little bit. Cause when you join the military, it literally forces you to grow up. Even me, I had to do some growing up. I joined when I was 20 years old. So, I mean, to each its own, I'm just being honest and yeah. So let's go to another question. All right, so this question is from Foreign Savage on Instagram. So if you're watching this, hey girl. Um, I, like I said, I'm gonna keep saying this. I've answered these questions to the people already. So, um, so yeah. 
Her question reads, okay, so basically I'm in the process and I have boot camp March 4th and nervous because the fitness part, the, the fitness part of the course, I can't read, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's probably everyone's main concern, but the first few questions about that is, is it really what everyone gas it to be? And gas just means like hypes it up to be. Um, as far as it being strict and painful, second question is, if you could remember what kind of drills were for your experience the most difficult. Lastly, after you shipped from basic training, was your med school in Japan? All right, so let's just start from the top. The first question is, well, okay, so she, her concern is the fitness part of it. Um, so in boot camp, I struggled so hard with fitness, and it wasn't the daily workouts because you have to think about a boot camp is two months long so when you first get there they're gonna put you of course you're gonna be exercising every day okay that's just it um the first part of it they're gonna you have three uh prts and prt is physical readiness whatever it's called uh pfa prt is just the fitness test the navy fitness test um so you have first one an initial that's the initial one um and like it like y'all know it's um 1.5 miles um sit-ups and push-ups that's it and of course you have your weight and your height that um calculates how much you need to burn your weight your height and your age all uh plays a factor in how much you need to burn um what am i talking about <clears throat> it factors your weight and your age factors what you need to um how many sit-ups you need to do and how many push-ups you need to do and how how long you have to complete the run i couldn't say that i don't know what was wrong with me but um like i said weight and age so for me um i don't remember my weight in boot camp but um it's like an age range so i believe from 20 to 25 or it might be 19 to 25 for women, I had a certain amount of push-ups to do, a certain amount of sit-ups to do, and I had a certain amount of time I had to run the 1.5 miles. So, the initial one, I didn't care about. The second one, I didn't care about. And the third one, I didn't care about. But, of course, you're supposed to, you're supposed to apply yourself in everything you do. Um, I mean, I don't want to say I didn't care about the last one, but the, fir the first two, I don't think anyone took them seriously. Which you should definitely take all of them seriously, <coughs> cause I know now. <coughs> but the third one, um, I didn't push myself. I really wish I would have pushed myself more. Um, um, just looking back at it, I wish I would have um, just pushed myself, cause it's mind over matter. Everything you do in boot camp is mind over matter. Um, I'm just not a runner. In real life, I hate running. I hate it, 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 I hate, it, I hate running. So, and I've never been a super athletic person at all. But, um, yeah, the run is what got me. I did perfectly fine on the push-ups and sit-ups. That's, um, that's nothing. So, the run. Um, I felt the run part. The I felt the portion. So, if you felt any portion of your final... PFA or PRC, whatever they call it in boot camp, um, you get as mode. It's called, I don't know if they still call it that. I went to boot camp in 2015, by the way. So, um, if you fail any portion of anything in boot camp, I, I believe, I don't know if it's just the, the fitness part of it or like the other stuff matters, but I know from personal experience, <coughs> you, if you fail any portion of the fitness part, um, you get as well pretty much <coughs> and i felt the run not sure how much i was off by or whatever but when you get as mode you get sent into a totally different division and you basically are there to do the prt and you basically there to get out of boot camp so i don't know if it's a time limit on there or whatever the situation is but for me i was originally supposed to graduate boot camp <coughs> i'm sorry I was originally supposed to graduate boot camp um, July 4th. Yeah, July 4th. And I ended up leaving boot camp July 4th. 
So what happened was I got asboed, I think a week or two or like a week and a half before graduation. And um and how did it work? <sighs> I'm forgetting things, I'm sorry. Anyways, I got asboed and um I was in there for however long and I was running the PRTs, running the PRTs. I think I did four before the last time I literally got my run on fifteen because that's what I needed at the time. Or that's what I still need at the time to pass on run. I needed to run the the one and a half miles in fifteen minutes. So that last time when I was in the alternate division or whatever, I passed and I was able to leave the same day I was supposed to originally leave. So my plan, it didn't get altered or anything. I left. Um, I went to, I was in like holding for like a couple days. And then after that, I went off to San Antonio to course school and everything was perfectly fine. Like I didn't have any issues. So to answer her question, it's definitely mind over matter. Uh, you have to apply yourself. Anything you do, anything you want to succeed at, you have to apply yourself and just push, okay? I can't, I don't know how your body is. I don't know what's going to happen and all that stuff, but just push through. Literally, you got to talk to yourself every day. When you run, you got to be mentally strong, okay? Because it's tough, but if you, if, you, if you are already athletic and you um, know you can do the run, there's nothing to stress about. It's literally just pushing yourself and staying focused on the end goal. So, yeah, it's um, as hard as you as hard as you want to make it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> the next part of her question was, um, any drills? I don't know. I can't think of any drills we did. I feel like I'm getting sicker and sicker as I'm sitting here. Um, okay. Um, then she asked me, oh, okay, so the last question she asked was, after you shipped from basic training, what was your, after you shipped from basic training, was your med school in Japan? So, med school, I'm not a doctor, I haven't gone to med school, I think she just means my core school training, and no, that was not in Japan, it was in San Antonio, Texas, so I went from boot camp which is in great lakes illinois and then from there i went to san antonio texas then san antonio texas i went to okinawa japan so yeah so i kind of i kind of talked about this question a little bit but this is from um nns 9404 and this is on instagram all right so her question reads hi i just came across your navy video i'm currently in high school and i'm interested in joining the navy so i can get my college paid for what was your advap score like and also do you recommend going to college first or enlisting after high school all right so like i said i kind of talked about it a little bit um let's see her first part is my ASVAB score. So I actually just looked at my INSEPS and my ASVAB score was a 71. I believe for Corbin, you had to get at least a 70. I don't know. That's bad if it is, but <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, honestly, all I remember was the first time I took it, I got like a, um, I took the press. All right. So all I can remember is the first time I took the, the practice exam at the recruiter's office, I got like a, um, I don't know, like a 60-something, I think. Probably a 60-something. Probably, I don't remember. I can't remember, honestly. Um, whatever I got, I didn't like the scores. I needed to do better. All right, so what I did, I took my butt to Barnes & Nobles, and I found this amazing book. It's the ASVAB Cram Book, and I'm going to find the link, and I'll place it down below um, in the description box. This book is A1. I was literally, because I, I was ready to go. Like, I don't like wasting time or whatever. So, um, I took the practice test, went to Barnes & Noble. I got the book. And they have it where you can um, cram for, like, a week. You're going to take that. It's just like you're going to take the ASVAB in a week. You're going to take it in a month. You're going to take it in blah, blah, blah. Whatever it was. They give you a time frame. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to take it in a week or whatever it was. Did that. Went back. And I scored the 71. And... I don't know if that's high or whatever whatever we need for Corman. Anyways, I did way better than I expected, and the book helped me so much. Um, so, yeah, 71, and like I said, I don't remember the scores for Corman. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure your recruiter can um, tell you that information. Um, yeah. Then she asked, also, do you recommend 
going to college first or enlisting after high school. And like I said, I talked about this. Just that's up to it's like personal preference, honestly. My advice is definitely take time after high school to um to learn yourself, to grow, to mature, maybe you want to get a job, maybe you want to do this and do that. But just take time. <coughs> But just take time and just think about it. Like, you don't have to necessarily wait four years after you graduate. But just just think about it. Be smart. Uh, make sure you are in the right mindset to do this. Um, yeah, just, just think about it. Uh, to each his own. That's it. And this is the last question I'm going to answer. Let's see. Okay, so this girl, um, she recently just messaged me actually like last week. And she sent me a whole bunch of questions. So <laughs> I'm just going to find one of the questions and um, and answer it. So uh, this is from, I think her name is Tiffany. I'm going to go to her page. Yeah, Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany, if you're watching this, I'm about to answer one of your questions. And um, she already um, got my responses. So <clears throat> uh, actually, she got some good questions. So I'm going to just go down. It's only seven of them. I'm going to answer them really quick, okay? Um, one, how many years did you serve in the Navy? So, I'm still in the Navy, and it will be four years this coming May. Um, do you travel more if you choose a certain job in the Navy? Um, I'll say no. It just depends on where you're stationed. Um, you can have any job. Any rate can go pretty much anywhere. I mean, I'm a corpsman, and, like, I can go to a hospital. I can go... To a shit, I can go anywhere, any any rate. Like, an IT person can work in a hospital. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's not the job. It depends on where you get stationed. So, um, three. How often do you see your family um, after your first year of serving? Well, I saw my mom, because um, I am from Chicago. So, I saw my mom uh, right after I got out of boot camp, right before I went to San Antonio. And then, she came to my graduation in San Antonio. And then, I took leave. Uh, right before I went to Japan and when I got to Japan I was going back and forth that's just personal preference I like to go home I like to travel back and forth so I saw my family quite a lot and that wasn't in my first well yeah it was my first year so yeah it just depends on what you want to do um four say you were to score low on the ASVAB test can you still choose the desired job you want um like I said each um so each rate has its certain score you need to, you know, to get that job. So I would just talk to your recruiter about that because I'm not sure which, I don't know each rating um, score and stuff you need. But I would definitely score as high as possible, not low, high as possible. Five, why do some jobs have longer enlistment requirements? And I actually didn't know this, my boyfriend told me, but um so for me, I'm corpsman, and for a corpsman, you have to sign a four-year contract plus a one-year extension, so five years in total, and that's because of, like, the training requirements. So, um, like, all jobs are not going to have a four-month training school. All jobs are, you know, not going to have just one school you need to go to. You got to go to two. Sometimes you got to go three. Sometimes you got to go back and forth. So it just depends on the the um the job you choose i believe all right six um it said it said that all branches pay the same is that really true um yes all um branches do pay the same because it's all one military but wait actually i don't know because you got the army the navy the air force the marines and the coast guard and the national i don't know I think so. I just I I know the Army, Navy, and Air Force definitely do, but um, I don't know about the other ones. So that's a good question, actually. But yeah, we do get the same base pay, and um, I mean that's general um, information. You can Google it how much everybody gets paid, but um, but yeah, I think so. And the last question is, how can you go in as an E three if you didn't do any JROTC? programs um so for me I went in as an e3 because I did ROTC but also you can have college credits and you can earn college credits in high school too it doesn't just have to be um in college Ooh, that's a good question I don't know 
I know it's possible to get promoted <coughs> in boot camp. I think you get promoted to E2, maybe even E3. I don't know. Um, but to go in, I think it's just college credits and ROTC. NJ ROTC, I think. Yeah. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope y'all found this information valuable. If you do have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below. You can rest with me on Instagram. You can email me. Um, and yeah, just find any way to get in, in contact with me. I love responding to questions and I'm here to answer anything possible that y'all can think of. If I don't know the answer, I'm gonna try to find the answer. Um, so yeah, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram because <clears throat> that's where you can uh, keep up with me, what I'm doing, and all of that good stuff. So, yeah, I will see y'all in my next video.